Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty D TV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 57 Chevy I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What do you got there? 1957 Chevy, black one. Man, they don't make many of those, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I got four of them at the shop at this moment no we're kidding. working on. You're kidding me. And more calls are coming. Well, yeah, they, I, I didn't know they made that many Tri-5 cars. No, I called you and <laughs> see, you called me and said, you want to shoot one tomorrow? I said, sure, what is it? You said, 50-something. Uh, I yeah, was like, well, the last one we shot was a 50-something. <laughs> and you said, well, good news is we got four more after this one. Oh, so my, yeah. We're going to try to space them out, folks. We're yeah. going to try not to give you all those because he's got a lot of other cool stuff sitting around here, too. They are really iconic cars, and everybody loves them. It's one of them cars that just never goes out of style. Right. So everybody loves to try fire. So keep them coming. Yeah. It's fine. And this one, it's got nice black paint on it. Yeah. Stance is good. Got some billet specialty wheels. Yeah, Jeff, uh, cool colors. Did a really good job in building the car. Looks good. Um, the owner, Larry Garner, he, he asked us if we could do him a cool custom interior. And I thought, why, well, yeah. So they brought it to us, and... He picked out a color on it. You know, it's not your normal black with a red leather or, you know, something like that. He, we went with a two-tone tan leather. It looks really good, clean, um, rich you know looking the name, with the car. You know the names of those colors? Tan and light tan. <laughs> tan and a lighter tan. I get it. No, because they do. They look really fresh in that color. Yeah, it, it, does, really, it, does. it really pops. It's mm -hmm. a very good shade, and they work well with each other, too. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we do the, you know, the 3D door panels. And you can do a 3D door panel on those cars if you have electric windows that you put the switch in the console. If you leave all your window cranks and all that stuff on the doors, it's almost impossible to do any kind of backlighting. Right. So, you know, it's uh, some some people bring a car in and it's got all the handles and they want the 3D look. Well, there's, there's no room to do that. So you have to take in consideration if you want a 3D panel, we'll need to put electric windows in run the electric stuff over to the console so you have to place a hide all that stuff did this car have electric when it came it in? did yeah yeah, yeah. We, we, we had talked about it before the car was ever came before the car ever came over so he knew to you know run electrics over to the center so we can hide all that stuff yeah because that's it really sounds like in several cars there's where you run into a lot of problems on doors yeah yeah and another thing is too a lot of cars are not wired or have a loom run to it so that you can run electricity so you have to there's a lot of Things you got to consider, you know, right. you want to cut up a hole and run wires through it, you know, what you, what are you, you know, what do you want to do with it? So a lot of that you need to sort of plan as you're building the car and then it, it works out good. I like the console that Tim built. That's nice. He did a good job. Always does a good job on them consoles and, and you stuff. you use some, uh, what, chrome mesh there on it? Some yeah. Kind of metal? Yeah. Uh, speaker grill. Got, that's got a 10 inch sub in the back and that center is cut out so you can hear the subwoofer from the trunk. Okay. And then it's got two six by nines in the rear deck and then uh, six and a quarters in the doors. It's a really good sound system. It sounds really good and clean without going crazy. You know, right. you don't have today's speakers and stuff, you really don't need two tens or two twelves to get a good clean sound. You know, one good eight or one good uh, ten inch sub with a five channel lamp. Yeah really sounds nice in them cars well it does to us in our mid-50s oh well, yeah yeah, right. yeah yeah you got you remember when we were kids it could never be like oh yeah enough, you couldn't right? get enough speakers right, in a car right, exactly so <laughs> I don't, i've been there i think technology and age is probably kicking in there you know <laughs> uh, i'm sure what about the trunk yeah we did the trunk to match you know obviously all the interior and behind that panel he's got a battery and a cutoff switch and things like that so it's uh removable where you can get it now the trunk floor stays like it is because on them right underneath that is the gas tank so oh, okay. you can't really do any kind of hidden floor oh, or something okay. like we do like in the camaros and right because i commented on that you know i was thinking a big trunk is like there's no excess panels where are those at yeah and he said there's no room and i'm going <laughs> Look at this! Surely there was room. Oh yeah, yeah, it ain't like the big Impala or something. It's right. got a real deep trunk on it. Yeah, the so they 55s. didn't put the spare tire down there. They must have put it like. Uh, they actually stood up to the passenger right. side okay, a go. little bit and a little cubby hole, and we just covered that, that up. That explains it. Yeah. yeah. And what power is it? <clears throat> That's got a. Uh, it does have an LS. I'm not sure exactly what LS, but right. it's got an LS motor, uh, six-speed transmission, um, all late model running gears. Yeah. Uh, Art Morrison. You yeah, I think it's got an Art Morrison chassis in right. it. So it's a good, it would be a good car to get in and drive. You know, um, of course, that's the way they're building most all the cars now. You, you, everybody loves the old car look, but right. loves the new car ride. So, right. you know, you gotta, you gotta take both 
errors and make one nice car and then you got a really cool car that you can drive and enjoy and the other thing is is a lot of the money that's in the industry now they don't care what they spend they still want to drive it oh so yeah like back in the day you would never think about driving a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car well now hundred fifty thousand dollars is a car that you're going to drive every day but even the guy that spends a million dollars at some point he wants to be able to drive that car oh well, yeah i mean you spend all that time and effort and in, in technology and all of the thinking and stuff and applying it to a car you want to get out and see what that car will do. You know, you can drive it down the street, drive it up to the mountains, drive it to the ocean, whatever, you know, have a good time with it. So, yeah, I mean, I would not never drive, I mean, I would not never want to build a car that I couldn't at least drive down the street. Right. But, you know. And I think with a lot of these high-end builds, they don't start out as cars that can't be driven. They just get finished as cars yeah. that shouldn't be driven. So. And I do understand that there are some cars that are built strictly to show, and that's right. cool, too, you yeah. know, because uh, you got to have, a diversity in all right. of the area. You got to have people that's going to drive them, people that's going to show them, people that has nothing but a show car because that's what makes it fun to go out and look at all these cars because everybody's different. Yeah, and I tell people all the time, don't hate the guy that spends all that money on that yeah. car because he's the one that makes it so we can afford those parts that he's putting on that yeah. one off part. Two years from now, you'll be able to go and buy it from Billy or exactly, whatever, and you yeah. can afford it. But it was that guy that spent the money on the R&D and getting it made to begin with. Somebody paved the way, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, brother, I think y'all did a beautiful job. Anything else you need to tell me about it? Well, thanks, Scotty. No, I think uh, I think everything turned out pretty nice on the car. Uh, the owner loves it. Um, they're tickled with it, so I'm. I'm. If they're tickled, I'm tickled. Right so, and I don't want nothing to go out unless we're happy with it. So right. you know, I'm not going to try to push nothing off on somebody that they don't like. Right on. So. But it looks good. And we don't do it all the time. Let's give the boys a shout out. Who do we got working for us on this one? Tim Ammons does a great job on that. I got my son, Garrett Holcomb, that does a really good on a French semen. And, and my, one of my oldest boys, uh, Noah, he does an excellent job too. He's really picky and detail and making door panels and things like that. Make sure the fit and finish is really nice. So Louise does a good job French semen and making the seats. Richard does a good job making all the panels and getting everything final and fitted. And, Craig gets all of our foam, uh, foam and stuff done on the floor where we can put the carpet and Preps things in. And all, Perhaps, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick does a really good job on the trunk. You know, he, I pretty much just say, hey, we need to do this. And he takes care of it. And those, you know, he's, he's very good and very fast. So we got a good, talented crew. Uh, Will has helped us out, you know, some. He's come in and uh, done some really good stuff laying out consoles and stuff like that so it actually helps tim out sure so i got will you know sort of laying out the console getting it ready and then tim goes in there and tweaks it finish it and covers it so uh, i'm really blessed to have a good crew uh, to work with god's god's good yes he is <laughs> and like i said we don't always give them a shout out although we always appreciate their yeah, hard work no doubt, no doubt. and today we thought we had time so anyways to the boys to you great job you thank you scotty we appreciate it so there you go from Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1957 Chevrolet. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.